If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me you hate my videos, but the best way to do it is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Gucci Man reacts to a list of the top 50 greatest Atlanta rappers, and Travis Scott music leaks over the weekend. Plus, Dave Free, the president of Kendrick Lamar's record label, steps down. Let's talk hip hop. Yo, so as you can see, right, this is the top 50 um, Atlanta rappers, right? Um, and Gucci Mane posted this. Now, it, I don't think that it came from Gucci Mane, right? Gucci is not the one who made the list, but it definitely like piqued his interest. And the fact that Gucci Mane posted this on his Instagram gives the list a little bit of like validity or a little bit of merit, right? Because it's something that a rapper from Atlanta, an OG rapper from Atlanta, is recognizing as a list right so as you can see here well first of all gucci man kind of just says what the fuck like he says wtf when he posted it up right um and as you can see they have the number one rapper in atlanta being andre 3000 right and okay cool i get it right um ti is number two which is crazy because ti is way up there at the top right i don't know if i and we're talking just atlanta rappers right so you're not gonna have Rakem here you're not gonna have Snoop Dogg here right you're not even gonna have like Bun B or Pimp C right we're just talking about the top 50 rappers from Atlanta right just so y'all know number three they got CeeLo Green that kind of made me go huh because why how is CeeLo like number three right CeeLo is good but I wouldn't put him at number three right um but anyway you know going down you know Ludacris is number four Killer Mike number five Saha the Prince is number six he's dope two chains number seven right and this was cool because I thought that they would have put two chains like way down uh closer to 50 but two chains as far as like Atlanta rappers go is actually in my top five so for him to be number seven that's cool uh big boy number eight jid number nine which is crazy yo bob uh number 10 offset number 11 right um I'm not gonna read through all of this because y'all see it right here, but we're gonna go down to number 13, which is Gucci Mane, right? And I kind of think that Gucci Mane does belong like right there around 13, right? Um, you got Jeezy, number 14. Maybe Jeezy should be in front of Gucci Mane. Young Dro is in front of Gucci Mane, no, at 12. And Young Dro is nice. Young Dro deserves to be like up there in the top 20. Uh, you got Takeoff, number 17, who's above Quavo, who's number 22. And that's true too, because you know, Takeoff does spit, you you know, Quavo is dope, he's talented, but he's more like on a singy song kind of harmonizing kind of tip, where on the other hand, Takeoff spits, right? And I could even put out the argument that I think that Takeoff lyrically as a rapper is a little bit better than even Offset. But you know, that's just me. Uh, Russ is on there at number 23, that's crazy. I would have thought that he would have been closer to 50. Um, Gunna and Lil Baby, 24 and 25. Waka Flocka is 26. Um, you know, moving on, Rich Homie Kwan is 30. I'm not mad at that. Uh, Young Nudie is 36. I'm not mad at that either. Mac Boney is 37. I'm also not mad at that, right? Young Jock is 41. Okay, cool. Young LA, who I haven't heard from in like forever, uh, is number 43. That's crazy. Y Young LA used to be nice, yo. I think that he should probably be like top 20, right? Um, Shorty Low, 44. I think Shorty Low could have went like closer to number one a little bit. OJ the Juice Man definitely deserves to be close to the number one not 45 uh wife and lucci is on here at 47 all right cool uh kilo 49 and then fabo is 50 right i don't think that me personally i don't think i would have put fabo on there at all whatsoever um but all in all, man, I really can't be mad at this list, right? So Ludacris says, I mean Ludacris, uh, <laughs> uh, Gucci Man says, what the, f you know, but I think actually the list is pretty cool, right? And maybe Gucci Man thinks that he should be at number one, which of course he should think that, um, but I don't think that is, is bad at all, right? But Gucci Man, he's been in the news a lot lately and he's gearing up to uh, drop his new album on 1017, uh, he, which is in 10 days from now. He's got a new song with Meg Thee Stallion. Uh, that song is fire, so I think it's dope, right? Um, the funny thing is, though, like, you know, yeah, Gucci Man put out this, you know, list uh, a couple, you know, hours ago, right? When I seen it, he posted it on his page, like, two hours ago, and then T.I., like, maybe 45 minutes ago, posts up a list of his own, right? Now, we all know that... 
first of all, the difference between Gucci Mane's list and T.I.'s list is that with Gucci Mane, um, he didn't make the list. He just posted it up, right? He found it somewhere, right? And his list is the top 50 Atlanta rappers and that's it, right? With T.I. posted up a list of the top greatest 50 rappers of all time. So no matter where you're from, you're on this list. Uh, and then also T.I. made this list, right? Um, and I just think that this list is crazy, T.I. I mean, like, I'll just look at number one and then look at number 50, right? So number one is Tupac. Okay, fine, right? You don't got Jay-Z number one. You got Tupac there. Fine, right? But Jay-Z's number two, right? But number 50 is Future? Like, I don't know, bro. How, how you put Jeezy at 49? Like, and, and that's T, that's your man's. You know what I'm saying? You put Jeezy at 49? Jeezy deserves to, if you're talking greatest of all time, Jeezy should be like top 20 maybe, right? Um, I don't see Joe Button on here at all, right? I don't see Lloyd Banks on here at all. If we're talking about greatest rappers of all time. Um, all right, so in the top five, you know, T.I. has Kanye, Snoop, Biggie, Jay-Z, and, and uh, Pac, right? The two people are in my top five too, right? Snoop Dogg and Jay-Z, so that's cool, right? You got Nas at number eight. He put himself at number 11. And I mean, I guess that's cool right after T.I., uh, right after Lil Wayne, but he put himself in front of Kendrick. Like, come on. Kendrick, T.I., Kendrick, T.I., I'm thinking Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? Even though T.I. is also in my top 20, but T.I. is wildin', right? Um, puts itself over Drake and 50 Cent and Method Man. Method Man's number 15, all right? I could dig it. But you got Red Man all the way at number 32. That's crazy, right? You put Eminem at number 7 and Red Man at 32 when Eminem, met, he admits that he got his whole style from Red Man. But Red Man's 32, like... 40 is Rick Ross and Gucci Mane is 39. You put Twister at 38. All right, I'm, I'm at, I, I fucks with the top 20. You know, LL Cool J is 18. You know, DMX is 19 and 20 um, is Cameron. So that's cool. But you know, I don't know, man. I, I kind of feel like Ti's list is all over the place. I fucks with Gucci Mane's list, right? Because he's just talking about Atlanta rappers that he could speak to rappers in Atlanta. Ti's list, when you he try to put everybody on here, and, and I don't know, man. But um, yo, let me know what you think about both these lists in the comments. All right, Joe, so Travis Scott music leaked over the weekend, right? Um, and this is crazy because, you know, he just broke up with Kylie Jenner. Um, and then he dropped this single, Highest in a Room, but then all of us on Friday, right? But And it's, it's pretty dope. But then all of a sudden, over the weekend, Travis Scott music leaks. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of really feel... All right, first of all, the leak uh, was on all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Tidal, um, Slacker Radio, uh, Pandora, whatever it is. Um, under the name of the artist name of Zekrom, Z-E-K-R-O-M, right? And the name of the album was called Astro Universe, right? Um, and it was 16 songs on it, right? A couple of songs that we heard before. So there was one song on there uh, with him and Little Uzi Vert that we heard before that he dropped on... Um, SoundCloud like a few months ago, but then there was a song with Offset and Quavo on there too that we didn't hear before at all, right? Uh, they removed it off of all streaming platforms, but if you dig deep and deep and deep on SoundCloud, you probably still could find Astro Universe, right? Um, and it's also on a few other streaming platforms, and I'm sure that you could find it on YouTube, right? Just type in uh, Travis Scott leaked uh, album uh, Astro Universe. You'll find it, right? But <laughs> my whole thing is, right, that it's so funny how it's hard to tell where the origins of a lot of things come from these days in a digital world unless you're gonna like reverse hack something to figure out who posted some stuff, right? We all know that, you know, um, Travis Scott is gearing up to drop his new album uh, in a couple days or probably in a couple of weeks, right? He first drops a new single called uh, Highest in the Room uh, conveniently at three days after an announcement comes out that him and his girlfriend Kylie Jenner broke up, right? For all we know, Kylie Jenner and him could have broke up two months ago but they said hold that information until the album comes out because then it'll get a lot of people talking about you right um so they just happened to break up the same week that you know uh highest in the room drops right and then the same weekend the couple days not even 48 hours after highest in the room comes out all of a sudden travis scott music leaks right and i like i said we heard some of this music before so how do we know the record label doesn't you know put together a, a, a leak 
right? And they just put out a bunch of music for a couple of hours that we've all heard from Travis Scott before and then take it back real quick. Like, let's check the temperature. Let's see what they do and let's see, make them talk about, yo, now Travis Scott got leaked uh, music and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a little bit of that, right? I think that the record label is playing around and they're trying to figure out what's really going on. Um, and, and, you know, they're using us to as, you know, guinea pigs or whatever the case may be. And we're sitting here, you know, just kind of watching it and seeing what's going on, right? But Travis Scott music did leak over the, leak over the weekend. And if you want to listen to it, like I said, type all that in YouTube uh, and Google and you will find it. Uh, and let me know what you think about the new music, the new music. All right, so Dave Free steps down from Top Dog Entertainment, right? And Top Dog Entertainment, for y'all that don't know, but you should know, is uh, TDE, which is Kendrick Lamar's record label, right? But not only Kendrick Lamar's over there, right? They got Absol, Schoolboy Q, uh, J Rock, SZA, and a couple of other people too, right? But a lot of the people that everybody usually talks about on TDE is Black Hippie, which is like I say, Absol. Um, Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, and J-Rock, and then also SZA, who's like the R&B addition to the record label, right? They do have other people over there, but those are like the main ones that people always talk about, right? And of course, that's because like J-Rock won a Grammy, uh, Schoolboy Q is super fire, everybody uh, puts Kendrick Lamar in their top 10 rappers nowadays, uh, so we know these dudes, right? Uh, and Absol's a super producer, plus everybody loves SZA, uh, she has dope music, and she's a beautiful sister right but the whole situation is right that um this dude Dave Freeman he's been with Top Dog Entertainment forever right so Top Dog is actually the CEO of TDE right um and he's known you know Dave Free forever um Dave Free actually went to high school I think with Kendrick Lamar um and so he knew Kendrick he knew Kendrick used to rap uh but then he knew Top Dog too uh and I guess like Dave Free's computer broke one day and he took that as the perfect opportunity to play some of an unsigned unknown Kendrick Lamar's music Music for Top Dog, and when TD, uh, when Top Dog heard it, he was like, "Yo, this is fire! Yeah, I want to meet with this kid." Right? That was before Section 80. That was before Good Kid, Mad City. Before all of that, right? So TDE has been growing as a record label since then. But in 2012, when Good Kid, Mad City dropped with Kendrick Lamar, that's when like their record label blew up, right? Keep in mind though, J Rock was already signed to Top Dog Entertainment before years before Kendrick Lamar dropped Good Kid, Mad City, right? Um, and some of the reason why, you know, TDE is even in the position that they are now as one of the biggest record labels in hip hop with some of the dopest and most talented acts on in hip hop is because of this dude, Dave Free, right? But, you know, sources from Top Dog Entertainment, they've been coming out saying that, you know, Dave Free has been working on his own for months. So this was kind of inevitable. Uh, plus, you know, he's been working with a new rapper named Lil Keem, uh, who streamed his album, you know. Uh, 9 million times in the last year so I think that he's trying to get into that and also he's trying to get into film and a lot of stuff like that so you know that's cool and you know we respect that and we want to see you know Dave Free kind of move on to like bigger and better ventures um, after you know helping develop TDE so much but it's just crazy because he was pretty much with TDE since day one right um you know, they reached out to Dave Free and to TDE for a comment on why he just decided to leave, um, but nobody uh, commented and they decided to decline the comments. So we don't know if he got fired or if he decided to leave or whatever the case may be, but we do know and understand that even in the future, like, he's gonna body it man like he has a lot of connections in the industry and he knows what he's doing clearly right um but let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fastlane on instagram that's j-o-n-n-y y'all already know what to do peace